Hey y'all, I'm JD from Move Me Poetry and um, one of the biggest things you're going to find about me is I love to add a personal touch to everything that I do. Um, I want you to see each other as more than just words on a screen, um, more than avatars, to know that there are genuine people behind those pictures and those letters. Um, so you'll probably see me take to camera and things of that nature. And I just want to thank you if you're joining us on Medium, on YouTube, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all those places. Just thank you so much for joining us. Um, when I started Move Me, okay, started out like everybody <laughs> with this dream of like, oh, we're going to be the best. <laughs> and in my opinion, we are the best. Um, but I started, when I originally started with, out with submissions, it was like, okay, we're going to be very critical in who we take. We're going to be, um, have high criteria. And that quickly changed because I saw this need out there for new writers. And I knew that need from being a new writer a while ago myself. And that is like, man, how do I get into these bigger publications? And that frustration and the rejection and, and whatnot. And I thought, time out. <laughs> we're different. We're different than that. You know, I don't, instead of going uphill, I want to be that safe space that people come back home to. And so Move Me quickly changed from this, like, oh, we're going to have all these really difficult criteria to get into to... We welcome you and we welcome your words in this space. So when I come up with the submission guidelines, there's not really a lot here. Um, I'm looking for you, if you're entering on Medium, to make sure that you have a title, make sure that you have a picture, and then your poetry below. I don't like to have your poetry in picture form because people like to highlight your words. So that's important. Those are mainly my main criteria, um, with the exception that don't have it be hate-filled. Uh, expression is super important. This is poetry, right? So if you're angry about something, if you're upset, that's okay. Share your words with us. I'm not going to like hold back on that. That's what poetry is about, right? Um, however, we're not going to single out races, people, religions, things of that nature. Okay. That's not acceptable. And I will decline those. Um, yeah. So that is kind of where things kind of changed for me. Um, so in looking at all that, kind of in moving forward, what I want to do in this space is to provide you guys with tools. Um, I'm not looking to be the top YouTuber. I could care less if I ever make money. That's not what this is about. This is about a genuine passion to just see people feel successful, um, to chase their passion. I'm a big Joseph Campbell fan and I believe in following your bliss and you obviously write poetry for a reason. I want to give you that space and um, what I don't want you to do is feel like you are up against people with master's degrees and doctorate degrees and feel uneducated. I want you to feel like you can hold your own in that space so we try to provide you with tools like Teach Me Tuesday. Um, I'm going to be doing the boot camp videos soon. Um, but you'll notice that we have a variety of content. And the whole point of that is just to give you a place to have freedom of expression. It's so needed in this world today. Um, we are kind of being confronted with things that we cannot control. And... Um, the need for creativity is that much more. So I want to provide you with a safe place to land. Um, my hope here at Move Me Poetry is that you call this home, but I do not, I absolutely discourage you from making this your sole place to enter poetry. The rest of the world needs to hear your words too. And so I want to encourage you to um, submit to those higher places to, you know, share your work in all the spaces that you can share it, not just exclusively with us, because that defeats the purpose of being a writer, right? Like the point of being a writer is to make a difference and to change people's uh, perceptions, the way they think through your experiences. And so 
I encourage you to do that. And um, the last thing I really just kind of want to drive home is that with Move Me Poetry, one of the biggest things you could do, especially on Medium, but it's the same on Twitter and all the other spaces, is to support one another. One of the biggest things I saw once I made it into some of the bigger publications was, I was so excited. Like over on Medium, we give claps. And I thought, oh, my, my piece got distributed. Um, I made it in one of the top publications. I thought, oh, here it goes, here it goes. <laughs> and um, yeah, I didn't get half the recognition than when I self-published sometimes. And um, the reason I think a lot of that is, is that uh, our support is organic, right? It's you guys taking the time to support one another and value one another. Sometimes what happens is you get in those bigger publications and if you don't have like thousands and thousands of followers, um, nobody wants to read your words because everybody else wants everybody else to read their own words. So basically we have a lot of people just shouting out into the void, but nobody's listening to one another. And so it's very important for you to take the time out to listen to somebody else. I try to treat people how I want to be treated. And so if you have that thought in your mind of like, you know, is that fair of me to just expect everybody to read my piece and I'm not giving some of that love back? You know, that's a, something for you to keep in mind. Um, but anyways, I've rambled enough. Wanted to give you like a personal like this is who's behind the screen and um i just really wanted you to know that uh, i just want to see you succeed and if there's anything i can do to help you succeed just let me know take care